Welcome to Daniel Reviews. I'm Daniel Goodwin. Today, unfortunately, we are doing a problem video, uh, which is my least favorite video to make, but I'm having one, so I'm going to make a video about it so that I can share it with you so you know what's going on. And two, I'm hopeful that I can share this with EcoFlow and they'll be able to use it to diagnose and troubleshoot the problem. As you probably know, I have four Delta Pros, the original Delta Pro, and I have four extra batteries, and then I have a smart home panel and the smart home panel two now. Um, generally not had any problems. They just kind of work every single day, fantastic. But in the last week or so, I developed a problem with one of the extra batteries where it's just not being recognized by any of the Delta Pros. If I plug it into any of the Delta Pros in any of the ports, um, it just doesn't get recognized. The battery has the little symbol that shows that it's recognized. It's connected to a Delta Pro, but the Delta Pro when, no matter which one it is, does not recognize it. And that's a big problem because then it doesn't charge, it doesn't draw from the battery, it doesn't charge the battery, it is dead. It is useless to it, even though it's got like a 40% charge or something like that. We're back in the garage where we can see the problem. On the right hand side I have one Delta Pro um, with an extra battery connected to it. Uh, they're both basically 100%. On the other side we have the problem. We have a Delta Pro here on the left with 15% charge, and then the extra battery that's sitting there at 40% charge, completely disconnected from it. Now if you look, the battery has the little symbol that shows it's connected to the Delta Pro, but if we go over here to the Delta Pro, there's no little battery symbol. The little lights aren't twinkling, Clark. Here's the Delta Pro. You can see that it is plugged into, or sorry, this, <laughs> this is the extra battery. It's plugged into the extra battery, and then it comes over here to the Delta Pro, and it is plugged into port one. I've read online and been told that it's very important to have it into port one, but honestly, it hasn't made any difference. It doesn't work. But to show you that, I will disconnect it, put it into port two. A little hard to do one-handed, but we'll make it work. a little closer. Uh, oops, okay, yeah. <laughs> so this is port two. There, hard to click. Let's just check over here. Still not, not recognizing that connection even though the battery thinks it is. So it doesn't matter which port it's in, doesn't detect it. I'm gonna go ahead and put it back in port one because allegedly that's the pro the uh, the golden one to have it in, which I think is really weird if that's true, and a, a problem if that's true. All right, so click that in. It's in the Delta Pro, and again, still not recognizing. So you see the problem. Um, what have I tried for troubleshooting? Okay, I've tried a lot of things. I've tried to connect it to every single Delta Pro that I own, I have four of them. Uh, none of them recognize that extra battery when I plug it in, whether I plug it into port one or port two, uh, it doesn't, doesn't work. It doesn't work if I plug it into a Delta Pro that has another battery connected to it. It doesn't recognize it. Um, I've tried switching the cable. It's not the, the battery cable. I've tried swapping those out. That doesn't fix it. Um, it really doesn't work. Uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't get recognized. Now here's the really weird thing. After I opened a ticket with EcoFlow, they uh, came back and said they had pushed a firmware update to it and that it should work now. Well, I plugged it in. It wasn't plugged, the battery was not plugged in to the, uh, to the Delta Pro because I had disconnected it at the time, left it separated from the system completely. They pushed a firmware update my, during my nighttime. I'm like, well, I'll try it. I plugged it in, it recognized it. I was like, yes! Great, it recognized the battery, it started doing the charging, everything worked like it had always worked. It was so good. Next day, I go and check on it, doesn't work, it's not there. Uh, it, it acts like it's not connected, even though it was still connected, nothing had happened. And this time, no matter what I tried, it wouldn't connect. Um, doesn't recognize it at all. And, and I just wanna be very clear, I looked in the app, on, on the EcoFlow app, checked the, firmware on every single one of my Delta Pros, they are all up to date, they are all 100% current. That is not the problem. Some, you know, some said, you just need to install the latest firmware. No, 
There's no firmware to install. I'm on the most current version. There's not an option whatsoever to install <laughs> that firmware. So really don't understand what's going on. I'm hoping that EcoFlow will be able to take all this, diagnose and figure out what's going on. I don't know what happened the first time when they pushed that firmware to the extra battery and then suddenly it was responsive and detected. I don't know how that happened or why. And if so, what do I have to keep doing that? Do they have to keep doing it? What's going on? I, I don't understand. Okay, that's it's a short video. That's the problem the, uh, that I wanted to cover. Your extra battery may suddenly just not be re, you know, detected by your Delta Pro and not, uh, you know, not be charged or, or discharged and just sit there like a dead battery. Even though it's it's got life, it's clearly got forty percent charge right now. Um, it's just sitting there, even though it's connected it's acting like it's disconnected and not a part of the ecosystem. So something's wrong with it. Uh, hopefully I'll have an answer and a solution from EcoFlow, but right now that's, we're kind of dead. That particular battery is dead in the water. I'll update when I have more. Thanks for watching.